Hello everyone, my name is Ronaldo Higruja. I'm currently studying as a CSE student in Sri Venkateswara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. In today's topic, we're gonna learn about Cherish Expansion. Throughout this presentation, we will explore what Cherish Expansion is, why it's important, how it's applied in computer programming, and how to navigate its challenges. By the end of this session, I hope you will have a strong appreciation for the power of this technique and how it can be used to improve your own programming skills and applications. First is the introduction. Let's start by understanding why series expansion is relevant to us as programmers. Essentially, it's a mathematical tool that allows us to approximate complex functions using polynomials. This may sound abstract, but in programming, it has a wide range of uses. For example, it's applied in numerical analysis for solving equations or optimizing algorithms in areas such as simulations, engineering, and even machine learning. Series expansion simplifies complex mathematical operations allowing computers to work with manageable approximations. It provides the foundation for many programming techniques so having a good grasp of this concept is essential if you want to improve your algorithms. Next, what is series expansion? Now let's break it down what exactly is series expansion. It involves expressing a function as an infinite sum of terms with its term calculated from the derivative of function at a single point. This method lets us approximate functions with remarkable accuracy even those that are otherwise too complicated to compute directly. There are two common types of series expansion. They are Taylor series, which, rep which represents functions around any given point, and number two, Maclaurin series, a special case of the Taylor series where the expansion is around zero. Here's an example of Maclaurin series for e to the power x. This infinite series represents e to the power x as a sum of polynomial terms. Each term gets smaller as you go further out, allowing us to approximate the function by truncating the series after a certain number of terms. Next, its application in programming. It has several key fun applications. First is function approximation. Many real-world problems involve functions that are difficult or impossible to compute exactly. Series expansion simplifies this function into polynomial approximation that are easier for computer to handle. Next is error analysis. In numerical methods, series help us understand and minimize errors that occur during calculations, making our algorithm more robust. So solving differential equations. These are vital in simulations such as modeling physics system, weather patterns, or even financial markets. Series expansion simplifies this equation into forms that can be solved computationally. By integrating series expansion into their workflows, programmers can optimize complex calculations, create more efficient algorithms, and handle a broader range of computational challenges. Next is benefits of series expansion. Here are some of the benefits of series expansion. First is improved performance. By approximation function, we can reduce the computational loads, allowing algorithm to run faster. Next is simplified complexity. Series expansion breaks down complex mathematical problems into smaller, more manageable parts. This makes it easier for programmers to implement solutions. Next is enhanced accuracy. It provides precise results by refining the approximation, ensuring calculations are both reliable and efficient. These advantages make your series expansion an indispensable tool, especially in fields like machine learning, graphics programming, and scientific computing. Next is the challenges and limitations of series expansion. Of course, every technique has its challenges, and series expansion is no exception to it. Here are some of the limitations that you should be aware of. First is convergence issues. Not all series converge to a value for all inputs. For example, some functions behave unpredictably outside a certain range. 
Next is truncation errors. Since we often work with only a finite number of terms, the resulting approximation are not exact. The more term we include, the better the approximation. But this also increases the computational complexity. Next is dependence on the point of expansion. The accuracy of the series depends on the point where it is expanded. If the Susan point is far from where the function is evaluated, the approximation might be poor. Understanding this limitation is to is the key to using series expansion effectively and ensuring reliable results. Conclusion In conclusion, series expansion is a powerful and versatile tool that bridges the gap between complex mathematics and practical programming. By mastering this technique, you can tackle a wide variety of problems more effectively, whether it's optimizing algorithms, solving complex equations, or improving computational accuracy. While these are the challenges such as convergence and truncation errors, understanding how to navigate these limitations allows you to fully allow the potential of series expansion. Thank you so much for attention and I, I hope this presentation has provided a valuable insight into the world of series expansion.